Hi guys, in the last video, I talked about why 35mm is better than the 50mm. Now I'm gonna tell you why the 50mm is the king. Everyone loves taking portraits with a 50mm. I know that's pretty obvious, but why? Well, a 50mm lens gives you a more pleasing results, especially the bokeh or blur in the background. It just looks more dreamier. It's like you're looking through a window into another world. Plus, most of 50mm lens has a wider apertures like this, f1.8. So we can get that nice shallow depth of view that really makes your subject pop. On the other hand, 35mm gives you a wider focal view, which is great for landscape or tight spaces. But because it's wider, it can create distortion at the edge of photos and makes things look stretched out and slightly unnatural. Let's see the difference. The 50mm photos on the left looks more natural while the 35mm photos on the right looks a bit warped. Now I know some of you might thinking, but wait, doesn't the wider lens mean you can fit more in frame? And yes, that's true. But with a 50mm, you can always step back a bit and get more in frames. By doing that, you can get a shallow depth of field and make your subject pop even more compared to a 35mm. In general, 50mm lenses are less expensive than a 35mm lenses. This is because 50mm lenses have been around for a long time and are often seen as the basic or entry-level lenses. For example, the Sony 50mm 1.8 versus this Sony 35mm 1.8. I know it's not exactly an apple to apple comparison because Sony 35mm is way better in terms of optical and performance. But you get an idea why the Sony 50mm 1.8 is, is a much lower price point. Even with the Viewtrox 50mm 1.8, it's cheaper than the Sony 35mm 1.8, even though they have a pretty similar performance. Last but not least, 50mm on a gimbals. I love using the narrow focal lengths on a gimbals because it creates a more cinematic look. The 50mm creates a more dynamic movement compared to the 35mm because of the reduction distance between the background and your subjects. In other words, you create a more parallax effect than a focal view like a 35mm. Now, I'm not saying that 35mm lens doesn't have its own merits. It's great in its own way. But let's be real, it's just not as sexy as a 50mm. So, get yourself a 50mm and you'll get what I mean. Trust me, your Instagram feed will thank you. So thanks for watching guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to click that like, subscribe this channel, and I hope you guys enjoy this channel. And as always, create and have fun. I'll see you guys in the next video.